Hey, just wanted to say, um, I know it's been a while, but holidays and everything going on, I haven't been quite playing as much, but I'm getting back into my grind. We'll be giving y'all videos, content. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, and I appreciate the support. We back at it. All right, so the first thing that we will be getting into here, I am in the big blind i started off as you all can see with about 300 dollars um couldn't really get much going when i first sat down a few hands pre-flop not really much developed so we did go ahead and lose a few dollars down so we we're sitting at 240 so we lost about 60 dollars going into this hand with about 240 dollars i am sitting in the big blind position the under the gun decides to make the call the under the gun plus one also makes the call it folds around to the button who decides that $3 is not enough for him. He decides to go ahead and bump it up to $25. And as you, as I told you all, I have been a little card dead. So I decided to just get in, mix it up, see what I can develop. So I go ahead and I make the call for 25. Under the gun folds, under the gun plus one makes the call. We're going three ways to the flop. Flop comes ace of diamond, king of diamond, five of heart. I do flop the second nut flush draw here. Um, I go ahead and play in flow. I check it under the gun plus one checks and the button bets out pretty small here. He down bets to $15. Uh, could see a reason for me to raise, um, but I'm still don't have anything for certain yet. So I go ahead and just make the call the under the gun plus one player folds and the turn card is the card that we believe that we need, yes, it is the five of diamond, giving us the second nut flush. Once again, we go ahead and check, and the button checks back. Hmm, okay. So we go to the river card, which is the jack of heart. Doesn't really change anything to the board. It brings in the queen 10 for the straight which i'm beating that so from my eyes nothing changes and the pot around this time i believe is around 110 115 i do have about 200 dollars back i go ahead and polarize myself i shove in for the remaining 200 dollars left in my stack and the button goes into the tank for a little while he thinks, he thinks, then he makes the call. And I believe it's the call that we might have wanted. And we show our jack high flush, which turns out to be no good. He flips over king five off suit for the flop two pair turn boat. Had us smoked and scoops it. Next hand that we're looking at here, I am on the button with a $10 straddle. I look down at ace 10 off suit, ace of spade, 10 of clubs. The small blind makes the call. The big blind makes the call. Under the gun plus two makes the call. It folds around to me and I raise it up to $60. The small blind makes the call and everyone else folds so we do go ahead and go to a flop of ace of heart three of clubs king of diamond the small blind checks and i decide to go all in he decides to go ahead and make the call we go for a run out the turn comes a nine of club and the two comes, I mean, in the river comes a two of club. I go ahead and flip over my ace 10. He says he missed, and we go ahead and take that down with a pair of aces. So we cut our camera on a little late for this hand, but we're going to go ahead and get you all caught up. I am in the cutoff position, and I look down at ace of spade, jack of clubs. There's a $10 button straddle, the small blind calls, and it folds around to me. I elect to raise it up to $30. The button makes the call, the small blind makes the call. So from there, we go to a flop. 
the flop comes. Looks great for us. Ace of heart, two of diamond, jack of spade. So it checks to me, and I go ahead and bet for about $35. Now, I could have made a little bit more sizable raise, but me having top two pairs, not likely that my other two opponents have much of the board here at all. I do still want to keep any weaker aces in anything of that nature so i don't bet too big i still think i could have made it a little bigger maybe 50 um but i did elect to go with just 35 the button folds and the small blind makes the call the turn comes a five of heart not really changing much on the board unless you have three four here don't see anybody especially him having three four in this situation so once again he checks to me and <clears throat> seeing that i still have top two pair he could be on a draw still um or have a weaker ace or have a very strong ace ace jack i mean ace king ace queen uh something of that nature not necessarily ace king uh possibly ace queen off but not ace king i think he would have re-raised me if that was the case especially being yeah i think he would have re-raised me but um so i bet 80 dollars on the turn and the small blind just calls river comes a three of club now once again the only thing this changes really is if he has a four don't see him having a four in this in this position unless he has pocket fours um Still think I could be getting value from ace, uh, a strong ace. So I do elect to just shove it all in here, call the all in, and he calls. Now I am worried. I show ace jack for the top two pair. And he flips over pocket deuces for the flop set. He slow played me and got the maximum. Oh, man, we didn't see that coming at all. All right, so we get stacked that previous hand. And now, you know, we go ahead and rebuy. And it's time for the revenge range play. Here we go, back in the cutoff position, we look down at Jack two suited of diamonds and under the gun makes the call, under the gun plus one raises it to 15. Under the gun plus two folds, low jack folds, high jack folds. I go ahead and make the call. The button makes the call, small blind makes the call, big blind makes the call. Under the gun makes the call. Yes, we are going six ways to a flop of ace of diamond 10 of diamond five of heart and it checks around i guess i get a free turn card see if we can hit what we need and yep you know it we get it <clears throat> three of diamond and once again, it checks to me with me hitting the flush that I wanted. Six people in the pot. No way I can continue to check here. I go ahead and elect to bet out relatively small. Not sure if someone's sitting in the weeds with a higher flush. Just not, not really sure. Um, so I definitely, thinking back, should have raised it a lot bigger than what i have but in this case i only elect to bet out for 30 dollars the under the gun is the only one that continues with me he makes the call we go to a river and that river is a eight of club under the gun leads out for 65 and like i told you all before i was just worried that I ran into a bigger flush here. Um, a queen high or a king high with so many people seeing the flop. I, I just wasn't sure what I was up against. And possibly the last 
one where I got stacked with the ace jack was in the back of my mind. Um, but I don't elect to raise. I just elect to go ahead and make the call. And he shows us queen of diamond, ten of heart for the flop pair turned flush draw. And he didn't get there. We go ahead and we scoop that pot. The under the gun plus one position. I look down at ace of diamond, queen of clubs. And the under the gun makes the call. It gets to me. I raise it up to $15. It folds to the low jack. Who decides to make the call. Then it folds around to the big blind. Who also makes the call. Under the gun also makes the call. So we're going four ways to the flop. And couldn't you just guess the poker gods are on our side. We flop ace of heart. Queen of heart, ace of spade. Yes, we flop the boat. Ace is full of queens. The big blind checks under the gun checks. Nothing we can do here but simply check. We go ahead and check. And the low jack does it for us. He bets out $25. The big blind folds under the gun folds. Nothing we can do here but just make the call. We simply go ahead and make the call. We go to a turn card. The turn card comes a four of spade. The four of spade comes. He checks. So once again, that doesn't change anything to our hand. It brings out a second flush draw, but doesn't hurt us at all. We go ahead. Don't want to run off any of his bluffs or any queen that he might have. So we just go ahead and check it too. And we go to a river. The river comes a two of heart. He checks once again. No way we can check it back here. Have to go for some sort of value. Don't want to overbet and run him off of a queen. Or possibly if he hit the flush. Don't want to uh, run him off of anything of that nature. So we do go ahead and bet out for 60. If he hit the flush, he might possibly raise us. But if he hit the flush, at the least, he will give us a call. Queen possibly gives us a call. And yes, he gives us a call. We immediately show that we did flop the boat. He mucks his hand, so we do not know what he has. But we do know our hand is good. Let's go. All right, so the next hand we're going to look at here, I am in the under the gun position with the $10 straddle. I look down at pocket nines. Pocket nines on my under the gun straddle is not a bad hand at all. So we go ahead. The under the gun plus two makes the call. The cutoff raises to 40. I elect to go ahead and make the flat call. I could have re-raised him here and probably should have. But I just elected to go ahead and make the flat call. Everyone else folds. We go heads up to a flop. Flop comes. King of heart. Two of diamond. Five of spade. I check. He bets out for $40. I just make the cost. Once again, this is another spot looking back. I should have led here or I should have re-raised. But it's how I played it. So we got to go through it that way. I made the call. We go to a turn. The turn comes a 10 of heart. And at this point, I do decide to take the lead and try and take control of the board. I lead bet for $100. He makes the call. All right. Now, I'm really not sure what I'm against. Maybe I'm thinking that I'm against an over pair. I don't really think that 10 helped him out too much. But the way it's going, he could have a over pair. We go to the river, which is a queen of diamond. And like I said, I was worried about an over pair, anything like that. So I do go ahead and I check it to him and he checks it back. I show my pocket nines. He flips over queen jack of hearts for the turned flush draw river top pair. And he takes it. 
all right so the next hand that we're gonna go over here we are short-handed i am in seat six i believe seat four and five were missing at the time i believe they got up and took a walk so i am sitting in the big blind i look down at king 10 off suit it calls all the way back around to me and being short stacked king 10 off suit not going seven ways to this flop i decide to go ahead and shove it all in king 10 i put in i in, I, I intend to shove it all in let me correct that i intend to shove it all in i just put out my chips and I put out $58 at the time, not realizing that I do have a $1 chip mixed in with the tip tokens. And it folds all the way back around to the small blind who elects to make the call. And he tells me, it's up to you, whatever you want to run, CT, I tell him. Two times is good enough with me. I appreciate it. So we go to a run out. Whatever you want to do. Twice. Appreciate it. What is it? Hmm? Twice. Run it twice. Lock. Good flop so far. No diamond, no set, no jack. Thank you. Oh, well, that's not so good. Oh, shit. I appreciate that. Mm. And as you all seen, we went ahead and scooped both boards. All right. So the next and final hand that we're going to go over for today, I actually was away from the table for a little bit. So when I got back, I had to post my blinds that I missed, my small blind, big blind. I was already in for about four dollars. There was a seven dollar straddle on the button. The small blind made the call. The big blind made the call. The under the gun made the call. It folded to me and I elected to raise it up to twenty four dollars. Looking down at pocket fives and the button folds the small blind makes the call the big blind makes the call the under the gun makes the call and we go to a flop just the flop that we wanted to see the flop comes out ace of spade five of spade three of clubs so with that being said, it does go ahead and check around to me. I go ahead and lead out for relatively small, but mind you, I don't have many chips back. So I just let out for $30. Being honest, if I didn't hit anything, I would shove it in with me hitting the five. It probably looks really strong, but it's kind of hard not to call me with me having so few chips. So I just went ahead and bet $30 and kept a, kept back probably like $40 or so. Not much left behind. So the small blind folds and the big blind decides that we're going all in. He's going to go ahead and put me the rest of the way in. He calls all in. I go ahead and snap call him. Show that I do have pocket fives. And he shows us ace nine for top pair this is safe run out for us a 10 of spade and a eight of clubs we go ahead and we scoop that up pack it up for the night and head out